and all that clean live streaming. Why won't you be here next round, man? Wait a minute. I smell different types of cigarettes. Is this it? Seems I lost my key. No, I haven't. No way. Really? How about you come help me look for it? Maybe we should go to the police. See if any. I never lost the key, Jew. Huh? I could smell cigarettes coming from the office, and not the brand we. Oh, that's weird. I it must be better. Who cares? I don't know. One day. No, I'm gonna go. <gasps> Someone's smoking in our property. B. It was right there when the door in. Hey, go unlock the door for the big alert. No, okay. I'm good. I don't know. About Hello, officer. I got a oh, problem. No, no, no. Office. Yes, man. to tuck and roll. Oh, and you owe me for the window. Hey, freeze! Solves that problem. Bet they'll think twice about pulling that again. She got so the guy who was going around looking for Mikiko, he gave our cleaning lady friend his number too. Bingo, got ourselves a home page. So <laughs> could be nice. The... <gasps> Junja, honey. Right. So about the detective and that kid looking for Mikiko Sadamoto. What next? Caleb, don't let him catch wise. On it. Oh my god, this is a real cult. Yes, the real cult is. No, dude, what are you talking about? Kaito and June. It's a real cult, man. Even my stream know it.
from the shell. and everything turning it off <laughs> if you're hungry I suggest you get out of bed and help set the table breakfast is almost I'm gonna go back to you gotta learn to man up no wake up on it's a raid Oh, what? Shit. Where? Where's the boss? Is he okay? Oh, sick! <laughs> Good morning, sleepyhead. Huh? What am I? <sighs> Still in dreamland, I take it. Now, come on. Breakfast uh, is almost on. Sure. Why are there fucking flies in my chicken? This is what I'm gonna start doing. Not even a simple thank you? Thanks for cooking. <laughs> You're such a little boy sometimes. on your mind say me what? would you make me breakfast tomorrow Hello, I suppose I could <laughs> oh nothing just thought you looked nice this morning okay what are you hiding what am I Okay, so you were hey, Then I'm tell wide me, open. did you wake up for me or the food? Ah, good question. Gee, way to ruin the moment. <laughs> Mikiko, we gotta talk about the raid. Huh? Listen, the boss is like a father. So if it came down to it, you know. Meal time is a peaceful time. No drama at the table. We established that when we first moved in together. Right. I guess I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> bone. Got a bone in my mouth. You can sell the bone to pick the view. Let me watch those. Sure, that'd be helpful. Um, Masaharu-san? Can we talk about today? What's up? Oh, damn, we'll change developers. Actually, never mind. You sure? Money. Mikiko, listen. The last thing I want to do is screw to, up with the two of us. To preserve it and other stuff. And totally not money. And, you know, I've been thinking about things. I decided I'm going to talk to Matsugane-san. I know he'll hear me out. What? See, when I swore that oath to him, I figured I'd signed my life over, too. That's why I can't forgive those pricks who went after him. But the last thing I want to do is break your heart. Wait, Masahara-san, what, what are you saying? I'm saying I'm out of the raid. That's final. Now, going clean's going to be another story, but 
I'll take care of it somehow. As long as I can keep waking up to you, it's worth it. Interrupting something? Uh, huh? June, I thought I wouldn't see you today. Sleep well? Well, yeah, but it's Dad here who's always sleeping in. In fact, he's asleep right now. How long are you gonna doze off anyway? Gotta wake up to reality sometime! No, five more minutes. Kaito? Kaito! Hello? Anybody home? That dream was peaceful. We're here. Uh, oh. The dream I had. Gotcha. Just then. What were you dreaming about anyway? You were smiling like a little kid almost. W was I? Huh. Don't remember. It must have been a real nice dream. In game, I uh, was. If you say so. <laughs> do 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 Hey Well Do 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 Me fucking dream Here's our clinic Apparently, someone's residence. Think we'll get some clues about my mom here? We don't know that yet, but we'll see. Yes? Uh, uh, sorry to oh my god, you. it's young year! From Kamurocho. The name is Kaito. Chan, uh, what would a detective want with me? Well... This is where my search took me. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Does it have to be me, specifically? Oh, fit, boy. What is this about? I'm looking for a lady by the name of Mikiko Sadamoto. No, I don't. She's my mom, by the way. I thought she was I still dead, need to watch she you. might just be missing. You're Please her stop! Um, but then the live stream won't stop. No. Ow. Thanks. I came on behalf of the Yagami Detective Agency. Throw it well. rubber. I am Yasutaka Shirakaba, a director of the clinic. No, it's here. rubber. I know what bullets you're shooting at me. So fine. You're really, Mikiko's son? Yeah, my name's June. I take it you're familiar with Mikiko, then? Uh, well, that depends on what you mean by familiar. Uh, here, have you been fucking have her? <sighs> I apologize for not inviting you in. You see, I've been living alone so long. My place is an absolute mess. <laughs> Don't sweat it. After all, we did show up out of the blue. Now, let's talk about you and Mikiko. As I understand it, you were looking for her as well. Yeah, just trying to get comfy. This was a year and a half ago in Kamurocho. Yes, there's no denying that. Can I ask what for? I was trying to confirm her identity. Her identity? Care to explain that? Deep within these mountains lies a waterfall, an infamous suicide spot. Perhaps I should start from there. A year and a half ago, a woman's body was discovered downstream. Uh... All right. Due to exposure to the elements, her face was too decomposed to identify. Uh... However, a photo was found in her jacket. It appeared to be taken at the Millennium Tower in Shinjuku. It was of the woman and her son. No 
way. Me? But since that was her only possession, it wasn't enough to confirm her identity outright. As such, the police opened the case and began investigating. Unfortunately, progress was uh, slow. If so, thinking I could help move things along, whatever you heard about me was likely from back then. That would mean you're the yes. Her husband had requested a DNA test. Is there a chance those results were wrong? Not at a 99% match. I hate to say it, but Kaito, this can't be right. What the hell is he even talking about right now? I don't know. Earth to Kaito! Don't just ignore me! Say something! Shut up. Didn't you hear? It's time to go home, kid. <laughs> this is all for nothing. <laughs> you can go. Oh, no, no. It's gone for good. <laughs> no. That's hot. Let me ask you this. No signs of a natural trauma were detected on the body. And the police had confirmed it wasn't murder, so no. I'm afraid there's no other explanation. God. Damn it! God damn it all. Mom! Why'd you do it? <laughs> I certainly wish I had better news to give you, especially since you... Uh, the least I can do is call a cab and... Wait... The... Kaito? One li... Yes? About that fo... Was that the only one? Just her and June at the Millennium Tower? I believe that should have... <sighs> what? Okay... Now we got a problem, Shirakaba-san. Your story doesn't add up. Dumb meal. I'm sorry? Don't play dumb here. If all Mikiko and you never knew her alive, then what you told me was grade A bullshit. Um. Ten days ago, well, she even sat by the window. You're sure that wasn't a coincidence? <laughs> yeah. I'm not, and it'll poke a hole. And by all means, and like, oh, ho, ho. I'll say it again. If there's a bit name, <laughs> think back to when you went to Kamaro Theater. Seems you approached her a year and a half ago, and you knew the place meant some problem is. How would you even know that everything you knew about her came from a single? In fact, that was your only clue. I'll tell you right now. Mikiko did have a connection with Kamaru Fee, but that's nothing a stranger, much less some random doctor, would know. Unless, of course, you found that out from Mikiko herself. Uh, well, I, uh... Quit blubbering, and tell me the truth! <gasps> I, I, I Don't understand. Then. I'll talk. I can't. I think we should all go inside. That alone might help clear things up. Huh? The wall wouldn't want this. Uh, do it! But the wall wouldn't want you to do it. Please make yourselves at home. And you leave, leaving that really wall alive. Like that. You think... You think he's got Mom locked up somewhere? This guy's a real creeper if you ask me. I don't know. But I wouldn't rule it out. It'd explain the lack of contact at least. Right? Dude, what if he lured us in to get rid of us? For all we know, he could be a total s Is this it? Um, one kind of thing going on.
Okay. Uh. Hmm. What have we here? Huh? This right here. Oh, look at this. That's your mom, eh? When do you think it was taken? I don't know. But my mom used to wear her hair short. I get Who took it, though? Wait a sec. If this was taken after my mom disappeared... Then yeah. She's still... What have we here? <laughs> this right here. <gasps> hey, Kaito! Isn't this... Mikiko, alive and well. Shit just keeps getting stranger. Why would she... And why hasn't Mikiko reached out to yeah, her... Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I... Look, biatch. That's right, I call you a biatch. What have we here? Bang, Is bang. this it? Let's yeah, smell. Got some. Huh? Is this it? Where the heck's it coming from? I want a Spider Man for Let's see. This right here. How hot do I make the tea? 85 Celsius? Guessing you don't entertain very often. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, not really. Oh, and don't even think about I poisoning. I never do so. Huh? This right here. Sure doesn't strike me as the type. Maybe he wanted to get fit for the ladies, but bailed when it got too tough. <laughs> My friend in school pulled the exact same shit. <laughs> Guess it happens to the best of us. What are these? Dumbbells? That geek actually works out? Kai sure doesn't strike me as the type. <laughs> My friend in school pulled the exact same shit. <laughs> Yeah, don't bring him back, man. Let's see. Yeah, the infinite wishes, but the opposite hmm. will happen. Hmm. Right, what can I wish for? Hmm. 
Hey bro, what about my whip? I don't know. No. How about make my deck smaller? Let's see. Alright, here you go. But you didn't even do anything. Well, what the mm. fuck? I'm gonna have to cancel you now, bro. Oh! Right. No, I don't like it. Let's see. Is this it? Sorry. No, don't even think. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> Is it real? No. Here, maybe. Yay. Yeah. Something smells.
Don't do it. Let's see. Like, I've so much to live for or something. Sending on the line covered side before I will let one What have we here? Like it was a fucking bag. Mikiko is alive. Yes, she's alive. No health issues to speak of either. Awesome! You hear that, Kaito? <laughs> Kid. Tell me then, what's Mikiko been up to for two years? Why hasn't she hit up her family? 
And where is she right now? If you're assuming she kept her family in the dark, I, I can assure you that's not the case. What do you mean? She developed dissociative amnesia. Uh, in layman's terms, uh, severe memory loss. She... what? It was two years ago that I found Mikiko-san at the riverbank. I rushed back here to give her treatment. But when she came to, she couldn't remember anything. All she could tell me was her name. Damn. If it was amnesia, no wonder we never heard from her. Okay. Can you tell us where she is now? Uh, well, uh, I don't quite know where she is. She left some time ago. What? She's gone? You've got some beans to spill, Doc. And I ain't talking at a mommy. If me... You mentioned... Um. So, uh, back to Mikiko. She... As far as I'd observed, yes. She couldn't recall. I discovered Mikiko-san. So, let me get this straight. A year and a half ago, a photo of Mom and me washed up. Only then did you go around asking about... After that, you swapped or rearranged a corpse or whatever. I get why. You just wanted to keep Mom out of trouble. But why didn't you at least reach out to us? You could have gotten contact at oh, any time. Uh, you see, he's got a point. You didn't even tell Mikiko herself who she was, did you? Even though you knew for hey, some forgive me. I know making excuses won't help, but you see, from the moment Mikiko-san came into don't tell me, you're in love with her. What? Uh, uh, yes. Oh, jeez. When I met her, it was love at first sight. Soon enough, I was utterly smitten. Nothing could take my mind off her. It wasn't long before I began wishing her happy little life could continue forever. But that's when that picture of her washed up. I thought if Mikiko-san remembered who she was, well, she'd walk right out of my life without a moment's hesitation. <sighs> Quickly. <laughs> that short, blissful time we shared was a blessing punk. I didn't deserve. A man who knew nothing but loneliness was graced by an angel from above. One. <gasps> Forgive me! Forgive me for being a hopeless fool. But I promise you, I kept things decent. I didn't touch a hair on her head. Even a selfish man like me knows where to draw the line. I would never take advantage of her. Not sure I'd buy that. You call hiding her away for two years decent? <laughs> Please trust me. It was only to keep her out of harm's way. Uh, I get that, Shirakaba-san. I don't blame you for wanting to protect someone. Especially when trouble comes knocking. <laughs> Fact is, you risked your neck to keep Mikiko safe. Not many would. That aside, you didn't tell her who she was when you had the chance. And that's your big mistake. No wonder you two had a happy little life here. You took her other options away. Do you have any idea what kind of hell you put her family through i know that whatever i do it'll never be enough to atone that much is clear that all you gotta say then i suggest you apologize to mikiko at the very least of course she might knock your ass out when you do hey what the hell Greetings! Is, uh, Mikiko Sadamoto-san around? Who the hell's asking?
Ever heard of Crimson Lotus? We're a friendly group from Shinjuku just swinging by for a visit. Anyway, I'm Nishio, the group mouthpiece, if you will. Crimson Lotus ain't ringing any bells. You supposed to be some kind of gang? Actually, I believe they're the group who came asking about Mikiko-san two years ago. Really? Weren't you looking for Mikiko Sadamoto too? Over in Kamurocho? Funny thing is, we need to find her too. And fast. Pardon, but uh, didn't I tell you last time? Mikiko Sadamoto-san unfortunately passed away. I just finished telling these people the same. There's nobody left to look for. Nice try, nerd. But you ain't playing us today. Your bluff might have worked last time, but now I've got people telling me she's alive and kicking. And we can't just let a killer run free, can we? A killer? Yeah. Fucking Broad had the nerve to bump off some of our higher-ups. Huh. <laughs> Quit talking out your ass. Dude, I shit you not. You really never heard of the young elite serial killings in Kamurocho? The victims are our founding members. Legendary badasses, all of them. And there's evidence of that chick at the murder scene, so... Yeah. We're trying to pull the plug on this bloodbath. Impossible. Don't tell me. This was Mikiko's unfinished business? To get back at Crimson Lotus. Right. Anyway, we're gonna need to peek inside the house now. Thanks for being chill about it. You won't find Mikiko in here. Take it from us, she's nowhere. <laughs> I call bullshit. What are you gonna do to Mikiko if you find her? Ooh, those plans are a bit above my pay grade, but I do know it won't be pretty. If I had to guess, it'd be like... Torturous death? I mean, she freaking went and killed ROGs right when they were peeking. That's fucked up. So, yeah, she's got a ticket for a nice long trip to hell. It's only fair, you know? Oh, yeah? Die! Then I'm sending my foot on a nice long trip up your ass. Oh. <sighs> Come on! Why'd you have to go for the face? I freaking went to a salon today, too! I got a mixer tomorrow, you know? Chirakabasa, watch Jude for me. Uh, okay. Damn it, why you gotta be so stubborn? Who even are you? Just an old bodyguard of hers. <laughs> huh? So, which of you punks wants it first? Hold on, don't pull the battle.
looks of it yeah thanks I've been practicing a while hey you assholes got started without me I thought I told you to wait till I got here shoot John this guy's a pain in the ass so let me take over for you Better clear me a path, boys. Yo, it's on. No, no, no. Yo, I'm fucking ready. Serious? You're just drunk, dude. And you must be Kaito's son, huh? I'm the front man for Crimson Lotus. Ken Mochi is the name. Just so you know, I've never been defeated in the underground fighting circuit. You're looking at a real fucking champ. My boys are ready for you versus me. Maybe we should have sold tickets, yeah? Huh? Let's give him a good show, huh? Boy. Sorry about this, big guy. Revenge not the way.
get nice damage. Oh, cool. What does this do, fellow men? Like, can I get one for June? Please get a grip. Any more and you'll start barfing blood. Why don't we just call it here? No! More! I need more. Gentlemen! Hate to be a buzzkill, but party's over for now. Handshakes all around and to all a good night. I should probably call the cops in case they come knocking again. Hey, Kaito. What they said about Mom being a killer? You think that's true? Hmm. Uh, doesn't matter. Our goal is to find Mikiko, whatever she's caught up in. I mean, I know that. I'll drive. I'd like to get to the bottom of this as well. Oh. You sure? Shoot. <laughs> That'll save us big on train fare. <clears throat> Doesn't look like we're being followed. So, uh, uh, what sort of uh, relationship did you have with uh, Mikiko-san? Huh? Where is this coming from all of a sudden? When Mikiko saw Kamuro Theater on television, she looked like she was lost in the past. And the moment I told you that, you wore the same look. Except yours was more sullen. So... I'm guessing Mikiko's connection to the place had something to do with you. Perhaps you two were involved romantically? Good guess. So you were then? <sighs> there was a time I thought I'd be with her forever. Forever? You mean marriage? What happened? Well, I happened to be with the Yakuza at the time. As you can imagine, Mikiko wanted me out. Easier said than done. My boss had taken a bullet that nearly prompted an all-out war. I couldn't just up and leave. Do you mean to say you chose the Yakuza over Mikiko? <sighs> In the end, yeah, that's what it was. For Mikiko, it was the last straw. Yes, I'm I was still dead. When she left, came home to a note in an empty apartment. Kaito-san, let me ask you something. Do you still love her, even now? 
No. Lover. You... That isn't what I'm asking. I'm ethical issues and legal ramifications aside. So I think it's okay to be honest. Uh -huh. Besides, I'm sure it wasn't easy letting a woman. Yeah. And what Call it a hunch. But am I wrong? Huh? Now, Mac. Ow. I can't, still can't walk. <laughs> well, the way 
damage and to find her. Oh. I never did let go. Then that would mean you still love her, yes? <sighs> Could be. But then. Once uh, I started searching for Mikiko with her kid, I mean, the dead boy daylight characters has been right. Like, maybe I could have done things different. And now, I'm stuck thinking of a life I never had. I mean, the dead boy daylight characters look like. As you may be aware, Kaito san, yeah. I too have feelings for Mikiko san. And if she never returns them. You want to see him? Then I fully accept that. That said, I wouldn't hesitate to give up everything for her. My own life included. <laughs> You're serious about that? Completely. I've never met a woman like her in my life. So if we do end up finding her, I intend to propose to her. Wait. <gasps> What? Well, before you get carried away, don't forget she's legally married. I'm aware. But if I don't at least share how I feel, I'll regret it for the rest of my life. As for right now, what? I'm giving this all I've got. <laughs> Not a bad resolution in my book. Yeah. I don't know. City's lively as ever. There were certainly plenty of sirens. A fire, perhaps? Those punks earlier? They were screaming about some boss of theirs getting killed. Hmm. I wonder if it's related to the young elite serial killings as of late. <laughs> Either way, I hope my boss gets it too. <laughs> Hey, fellas, did you see a building on fire? Oh, uh, yeah, actually. I think around Tenkaichi Street? Kaito-san! Yeah, let's move! Yeah, you see the survivor? Oh. The old thing around the back. Mikiko! What is she doing? 
What the fuck are you doing? I should be able to get up from there. Shirakabasa, watch June for me. Where's the woman? Get around her. Oh, no. Come get me. Yeah. I'm sorry, no, no, I'll pack the van. I'm posting a special ability on it. The grand message. It squirts out time in front of his people. God damn it! I can't tell what's going on from here! Get out of my way! Hey!
Let's make the trans. You be stuck once to know if you played a far cry game as your first game. That you fakely played us. Yeah. That you fakely played us. That you fakely played us. Yeah. What is this? Oh, cigarette. He just did his thing, I like pants on fire.
the fact that I'm even here is just a coincidence. You're a liar! Uh, hey! Where's that backup? If they don't get here soon, then Nishimura's dead! Stop. Mikiko! Tell me why, Michiko. They killed them. My whole family. They took my mother and my father. Mo! They burned them alive! What? Are you sure? I thought Maho Chan's stalker was behind us. It's just the lies they told me. They're the ones who really killed them. Unbelievable. Hi. Asizaki-san. Damn you! Die! Oh, he's up. Wait, where's Mikiko? What happened after I went down? Well, the owner of that security company got shot to death on the roof. His name was Ashizaki. His office was burning up too. You think it's the killer's work? Not sure. I can't find those details anywhere. Gotcha. Oh, and to top it off, Nishimura, a man who was visiting Ashizaki last night, was found dead in an alley this morning. They killed them. My whole family. They took my mother and my father. Mo! They burned them alive! You can't do anything. By the way, Kaito, the police came by earlier. Uh, they said to contact them once you're up. I think they wanted to question you. Uh, just what I need. Uh, uh. You'll live. That bullet only grazed your shoulder. And by some miracle, your bones are still intact. The doctor was amazed you're still alive. Said that fall would have at the very least paralyzed anyone else. I say it's time to get back at it. Uh, Kaito-san. Lying around on my ass won't get me closer to Mikiko. Plus, I'd rather not deal with the cops. Let me go with you. All right. Kaito-san, take a look at this before you go. What's all this? Profiles on the four victims murdered in Kamurocho. I put them together last night after a bit of research. Oh, nice work. In summary, all the victims seem to be ordinary people. But that may only be on the surface. According to the rumors on the internet, of which I unearthed a substantial number, many of the victims had rather suspicious backgrounds. Some may have even changed their names. Sounds about right for one of these little thug groups. Unlike the Yakuza, they don't have a family to answer to. 
take that blue-haired dipshit from before. He acts like he's in some college club without a care in the world. So it seems. Uh, here's another interesting tidbit. Some of the victims had a fighting record, uh, meaning they competed in underground tournaments. But each one was found successfully subdued, even showing signs of force consistent with inter- did always know how to handle herself. Yeah, she kept it up with the workouts and the kickboxing, even after Dad came into the picture. She could totally take some thug one-on-one. -on -one. Mom's tough as nails. Hot damn. Anyway, what's our next move? Right. We should probably go investigate the crime scene. What crime scene would that be? Where the murder took place last night. Might be some clues left to find. I see. Though I imagine the scene's still quite busy. Will the police really allow you on site? Oh, I'm hoping to avoid the cops altogether. I'm gonna sneak into the place. Ah, well, I suppose that's one way to do it. Catch you later, then. Mind serving as our alibi while we're over there? I'll give the police a good answer. Just... Make sure you find Mikiko-san, and keep her from dirtying her hands. June! And... Kaito-san? What is this? Ah, oh, crap. Oh, don't worry. We can explain. But, uh, what brings you here, of all places? Well... One of my police contacts got in touch. Said a boy here matched June's description. Ah... Uh. Well, June? What do you have to say for yourself? After you go wandering off for days on end? Yeah, like you even give a shit! Just go back home by yourself! June! Can we just... <sighs> Never mind. Actually, you and I might want to have a talk, Sanamoto-san. It's about June... ...and Mikiko. What's going on with Mikiko? Well, I'll just put it out there. Turns out your wife's still alive. She's alive? My Mikiko? Where is she? Is she all right? All right's not exactly how I put it. It's pretty complicated to explain. Complicated? To think all that was happening. And Mikiko, possibly a murderer? I know she's out for some kind of revenge. She's aware it was really Crimson Lotus who burned her family alive. I see. That's... very difficult to process. We had always believed it was Maho Chan's stalker that did it. Yet now some sinister group emerges. Kaito-san, does Mikiko really believe Crimson Lotus orchestrated this stalker story or whatever? That's what she said. It's likely the stalker got pinned as a scapegoat for the whole thing. Now, can you give me anything on your end? How's Crimson Lotus fit into all this? Nothing's making any sense so far. It couldn't be. What? What's wrong? To tell you the truth, this may have been set into motion even before the arson. You see, that? Mikiko's family had been under pressure from a certain real estate broker to unload their property. Okay, As I recall, bitch. that broker was flush with foreign capital and seeking land for a sizable new complex. ATM? Mikiko's parents stood to profit quite Do substantially money. were they to take the offer. But I was told they rejected whatever came their way. This went on for quite some time. Well, yeah, and but hang on, and use it at places I only accept cash. So Crimson Lotus really was behind it all. Mikiko's parents had to die? Because of some land deal? Yes. Unless you want to go into a local like way. I had planned to kill them all along. Anyhow, once Mikiko's family was gone, like, their land was have inherited a by a distant system. relative. 
And since they wanted nothing to do with any stigmatized but. property, they sold it to the broker in the end. So maybe Mikiko got too close to the truth. Well, I think you can. Her. Yeah. But. That ought to explain. Make him the much wiser today. If that is the case, then Mikiko's in the right. If I knew who killed my family, why, I'd hunt them down <clears throat> myself. Taking lives of innocent people, all for profit. He's a fucking. What monsters? There's like a very big side to it. Sadamoto san, there's something else I've been meaning to ask you. It's yeah. It's about June's biological yeah, man. death. <laughs> I know. He thinks you're his real dad, right? Or at least, he hopes you are. Uh, how'd you know? Well, June and I got into an argument once. It's like God's rocking over every time. time. Sorry to hear that. Well, make no mistake. Ow. June I get is paid a lot myself. just to not give a shit. Yeah. And I to give a shit. Deep down. I'm sure June understands that as well. This fantasy he spun up to feel better? Symptoms of a typical teenager. You sure he knows what's what? I am. This is nothing but a phase he's going through. I think it was right around elementary school when it started. He began stealing away Mikiko's diary, reading it over and over in secret. And you... The Yakuza with the Lord of Gold. <laughs> You're doing this while the Yakuza very right. sub story music is playing. June told me that himself. It's because I let work take priority. Even when June was little, I never spent the time with him I should have. And whenever the stress from work got to my head, well, let's just say I reacted poorly, even to a child seeking daddy's attention. So I fully understand why he latched on to Mikiko's writings. It's nothing I'm surprised or jealous about. The boy needs an actual father figure. Yeah. That said, I hope you'll forgive me for letting you believe <laughs> what he wants. You talk about it. Now. Of course, it's pathetic for me to be saying that. <laughs> uh, shoot, it's from one of the board members. I don't mind going after your son, Sadamoto san. And when I find him, I'll send him on home. But you're gonna need to set him straight. Excuse me. Yes, this is Sadamoto. Right. Thank you for your help with that contract. <sighs> send me an invoice for your expenses. I'll cover them. Yes, that sounds excellent. Though there's one small issue. You see that shit? It's always the same. Who'd want a stuffed shirt for a dad? Don't say that. He's a busy guy. Well, now that that asshole's gone, how about we get back on the case? All right. Next step. Getting onto that murder scene in Tenkaichi Alley. What are we gonna do if the cops see us? If it happens, it happens. Let's move. Yeah. Going to try it. No good. Knee deep in cops. Can we get around them? No, well, just draw a dick and say it. I sneak in. Jill, you wait out here. Any Bato guys show up? Just shout for the cops and they'll scatter. Right on. Good luck. 
Careful now.
What have we here? Hmm. This right here. Huh? Is this it? What have we here? Let's see. This right here. Let's see. Is this it? This right here. Huh? 
Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Is this it? right here. Is it? It's impossible. Easy. I thought you said you won your precincts tournament. Yeah, and lost to a prodigy. What shogi club are you with, kid? None. Never even had lessons. I guess I'm just a natural at it. Yo. Kaito, what's up? What have you been up to? Just stomping a cop at shogi. That sort of thing. Well, time to stomp on elsewhere. We got us a lead. Oh yeah? Where to? Wherever we gotta be. Oh, okay then. Hi, 
How can I be of service? Tsukumo, you're good with computers, right? Think you can handle pulling some data from a burnt-up hard drive? Hmm, it all depends on its condition, but it's certainly not impossible. Well, you mind taking a look? And make it quick if you can. Sure, not a problem. But I have to ask, what sort of case did you find yourself in this time? Right, about that. I should probably fill you in. I a feeling I'll be asking more favors. Here's the deal. I see. So a group of inconspicuous thugs murders a rich family to gain access to their fortune. That's quite a story. Well, let's start with analyzing that hard drive. I've sent a motorcycle courier to your location. Figured it'd be faster to pick it up that way. Once I get my hands on it, I'll tell you what I find. Good shit. Thanks for the assist. All right. Now, let's go have us a stakeout. With any luck, your mom will show up. Oh, a live stakeout? I've seen that on detective shows before. Don't they get boring after a while? Well, if that's your attitude, you can just hang back at the office. No, I'm going to. Hey, aren't people going to think we look weird? Huh? Oh, I figured we look like father and son coming home from a ball game. Yeah, I don't know about that. Hey, there he is. Looks like he just clocked in. So you really think my mom's going to show? I wouldn't hold my breath, but it's possible. After all, Kenmochi's next on her hit list. Guess we'll be stuck here for a while, then. Uh, let me... Huh? <laughs> Who would have thought we smoked the same brand? Yo! Didn't I already tell you you're too young? Knock that shit off. Man. Come on, let's change up what? the- I'd raise some eyebrows if we stay in one spot. All right. Careful now.
Remember that old geezer I told you about? The stubborn one, living alone, who wouldn't leave. Oh, yeah. What about him? He's got this dog he loves like his own grandkid, right? So I snatched the little thing up. Aw, that's so mean. <laughs> oh, it gets better. After that, I gave the old fart a hot dog. And when he wolfed the thing down, I told him it was dog meat. <laughs> got him so spooked. He puked! <laughs> wow, Shu Chan. You're terrible. Please tell me that dog's still alive. Of course he is. He's with Nishio right now. <laughs> Guy loves pets. We'll give him back once the old geezer falls in line. Anyway, Nishio tells me he's discovered the magic of blind dates. <laughs> Horny bastard must be pretty desperate. He's the one who goes to all those men's salons, right? Yeah, not that it does him any good. He'll be a dirty rat dog till the day he dies and all the ladies know it. I tell him it's his mind, not his looks, that needs polish. Ought to take that boy on a spiritual retreat or something. Oh, what if he has some kind of revelation? Can he still be in your gang? Ah, oh, come on! Gang's just a figure of speech. We don't do any bad stuff, the haters say. We're nothing but a good bunch of friends. You know we even donate to charity? Well, do you? I'm impressed. Stay out of this. Shit! Out of this. You got Go on. You who the hell? Hold do you... up. The hell? Here we go.
Damn it! I won't for... Sorry. I know we should be going after Kenmochi. True. But you made the right call. So don't sweat. Oh... Okay. Anyway, Kenmochi shouldn't be too far. Let's hurry up and find him. Yeah. Shizaki, the guy who died, he had his little fella pierced. You think they take it out before cremation? Oh, um, wouldn't they normally? But I mean, even a funeral director wouldn't peek down behind his nuggets. So, maybe no one noticed. His nuggets? Yeah, his dumplings. You know what I mean, don't you? Um, his earlobes? You're using some kind of Osaka slang, right? <laughs> For real? Now you're just being abstruse. You mean obtuse. Uh, never mind. I forget there's an age gap between us. Still got much to learn. <sighs> Where's that store? Pictures? What a pain in the ass. I don't have time for this. But screw it.
Goddamn time! Come on, Jun. Let's hurry and find Kenmochi. Crimson Lotus used to be just nine of us in college, and now look where we are. It really is amazing, Shu-chan. I'm sure it's your personality that attracted all those people. <laughs> Not to mention, we do things on the level. No bosses, no grunts, just one big happy family. We all got nicknames, too. No sons or sirs alive. Oh, no, you're so good. Hey, I wouldn't exactly. We help each other. Anybody even. Oh, uh, do you still. Absolutely. We are. Shuchan, that's so wild. <gasps> what do you want right. from me? Uh, batteries almost dead. Wait, what? going uh, yeah. nowhere you should worry about huh what's up yeah yeah it is i knew it that's you sure yeah i bet she was telling ken mochi shit what that bastard got himself tailed on let's go mickey kosa <laughs> Actually, got punched. No time. Just hit. <laughs> Will they survive? Will they not? Find out next time. I don't know.